In this experiment, we'll perform a dehydration of 4-methylcyclohexanol. Measure out 150 millimole of 4-methylcyclohexanol and add it to a 50 ml round bottom flask. Add 5 ml in concentrated phosphoric acid and boiling chips. Clamp the flask into a heating mantle. Assemble a fractional distillation apparatus using an unpacked fractioning call. You will collect the distillate in the 25 round bottom flask. Heat the reaction mixture to reflux. The alkene product will begin to form soon after boiling begins and will distill over as an azeotope with water. Adjust the heat so that the product is distilling over, but the temperature at the still head does not exceed 120 degrees Celsius. Stop collecting product once the drip rate drops noticeably or when the still head temperature cannot be kept below 120 degrees Celsius. This will likely occur when you have collected 10 to 15 milliliters of liquid. Measure the volume of the organic layer, then transfer to a separatory funnel. Add 10 milliliters of water. Initially swirl the mixture with the stopper off. Next, stopper the separatory funnel and briefly shake. Remove the acres layer. Repeat the process with 10 ml of 5% sodium bicarbonate solution. Be sure to vent frequently to avoid pressure building up in the separatory funnel. Use a drying agent to dry the organic layer. Then filter the final product into an Erlenmeyer flask of known mass. Measure the mass of the flask and the isolated liquid after the filtration is complete. Obtain two test tubes. Add about five drops of the product to one test tube and a similar amount of 4-methylcyclohexanol to another test tube. Add one milliliter of dichloromethane to each test tube and gently shake to mix. Next, add a few drops of one molar bromine solution to each test tube and note whether the red-orange color persists or dissipates upon addition. The product will also be analyzed using a gas chromatograph. This table summarizes the data collected during the experiment 